Okay, so I think someone definitely likes me. So when I go home from work today, I noticed there was this uh, quite universal plastic bag at, uh, in the uh, mailbox. So I thought, what the heck is this? Maybe it's something uh, interesting uh, related to uh, PC components or similar. So uh, let's quickly check what's inside the bag and uh, what treasures we have managed to uh, get at our front door today. Well, look at that. Huge, absolutely enormous tube of Kimpin Cooling KPX thermal paste. So uh, this is the uh, brand new, I think it's 30 gram size tube of Kimpin Cooling KPX thermal paste from KimpinCooling.com. So Vincent Lucido from EVGA. So uh, it's definitely enormous and hefty package. So uh, it should be the same quantity as the uh, 30 gram size jar. It looks a bit smaller than the tube, so it should be at least the same amount as in the jar. But yeah, so at least if the uh, gram price is the same, it should, uh, it should be awesome. So uh, in my uh, old thermal paste comparison video, which I made uh, during last year, there the gram price for the largest quantity of Kimping Cooling KPX was something like 2 euros per gram or less. So if it's the same price, it should be good. I know that the actual uh, listing or listed price isn't all about this thermal paste because if you just buy the thermal paste from keepingcooling.com the actual shipping on top will be relatively expensive and then especially if you live in some of the European Union countries you very likely have to pay the value added tax on top of the actual price of the product so on top of the price of the thermal paste itself and on top of the uh, actual shipping as well. So for example, I live in Finland, so I would have to pay value added tax of 24% on top of the actual uh, price of the thermal paste and on price on top of the uh, shipping as well. So then the uh, just purchasing the uh, thermal paste itself could actually become relatively expensive because the availability of Kimping cooling products and this thermal paste especially is quite bad in uh, Europe for example. If you live in Europe you should check Gavin's website so KimpingCoolingSuppliesEurope.com There you should be able to get a bit better deal than straight from uh, Vins from Taiwan. But yeah, so uh, I hope this will have the same or better gram price as the uh, largest jar Vince has had available from his website during all this time. So uh, if this is actually 30 grams, it should be $60 or something like that for that large sized tube. Huge quantity such as this is quite nice for uh, users like me who test a lot of components throughout the year with different cooling methods. So if you find, if you've been CPUs for example and then you find a good CPU you will test it first on water then maybe even on single stage and then on liquid nitrogen as well so your overall thermal paste uh, consumption can actually be quite high per year I mean or annually so that is why these large options are good for someone like me but of course if you are an average uh, an average Joe and you just Let's say you use thermal paste once every like three to five years when you only uh, build your computer, you set it up, lock it inside the computer case and then you forget all the components uh, for all, all of the time. Then of course you don't need to uh, reapply thermal paste that often. Then of course you don't need to buy this kind of quantity. You can buy the smaller option that Wins has available. Here's the 10 gram size tube, so it's definitely a bit smaller than the larger one. So I think this should be like three times larger than the 10 gram size tube. But that's the overall uh, 
overview of this thermal paste. So there's nothing really new about the uh, KPX thermal paste. Wins actually uh, sent me some like uh, of his new uh, KPX formula uh, last time during this uh, past spring. But I found out that it's not better than the original uh, KPX what we have used to seeing this far. So I said that it, it, that it was worse. So uh, it's the same exact KPX as before, just larger option, larger tube option. So if you, so if you don't like full paste in a jar, then uh, this kind of tube should be quite nice for you because it, you don't have to use anything like a plastic applicator to spread it. You can just use like five dot method on top of a like mainstream Intel CPU, an AMD Ryzen CPU, or X299 CPU, just use five large, five large dots on top of the CPU HS and just let it be and let the uh, pressure of the cooler itself to spread the thermal paste evenly on top of the CPU HS. But that's pretty much it. If you have uh, plans to buy KPX thermal paste and you need large quantities, then you should check out this uh, large tube from KimpingCooling.com. I will link it down in the description down below if it's already listed at kpc.com. If it's not, then I will add it as soon as it gets listed on uh, the Kimping Cooling uh, website. But other than that, if you like to see this new uh, large tube of KPX from KimpingCooling.com, then please like the video and uh, subscribe to my channel and I will see you on the next one.